So in this problem, we're asked to differentiate the function h of z, which is equal to the ln of the square root of c squared minus z squared over c squared plus z squared. And so in order to solve this problem, what we should first do is try and manipulate this so we get it in an easier form. So if we have the ln of the square root of c squared minus z squared over c squared plus z squared, we can rewrite this as um, the ln of c squared minus z squared uh, over c squared plus z squared to the 1 half. And that's because um, the square root is the same thing as uh, putting something to the 1 half exponent. And so when you have it in a form like this, you can rewrite this as uh, 1 half ln. So we can move this out front. 1 half times the ln of c squared minus z squared over c squared plus z squared. And so since we have it like this, this is going to be our new form. But there's one more thing we can do. If we have the ln of a over b, we can rewrite it as the ln of a minus the ln of b. So it's just the ln of your top minus the ln of your bottom. So we can rewrite this whole thing as 1 half, because uh, we have the 1 half here, times the ln of our top, c squared minus c squared, minus the ln of our bottom, which is c squared plus c squared. So now we have it in this form, it's going to be much easier to find. So it's just 1 half times the derivative of our function. So it's just like our constant times the derivative of this. So we just need to find the derivative of this entire part. So let's go ahead and do that. So what is the derivative of ln of c squared minus c squared? So if we do that, we do 1 because the derivative of ln is 1 over x, but we do it with respect to our inside. So 1 over c squared minus z squared. And then we multiply by the derivative of our inside right here. So c squared is going to be, since we're taking it with respect to z, c squared is just a constant. So we only need, it's going to become 0, so we just need to take the derivative of minus z squared. So that would just become minus 2z. So now we can just put that on top. So we have, if we're going to write it, so we have h prime of z. Here, let me make that a better z, is equal to 1 half times, and we know the derivative of this, we just found it, which is minus 2z over c squared minus z squared. And then, so now we're going to minus, and we have to find the derivative of this. So let's do it the same way. So we have 1 over respect to our inside, because it's 1 over x with respect to our inside, so z squared plus z squared. We multiply by the derivative of our bottom. So the derivative of c squared becomes 0, and then the derivative of z squared is 2z. And so we can just rewrite it as uh, 2z over c squared plus z squared. So I'm going to rewrite it right here. So we have minus 2z over c squared plus z squared. And so this is going to be the answer to our question. So what we had to do was just manipulate this to get in a better way using some rules. So yeah, that's how you solve this problem.